Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today's the day, Farming 60. I cannot wait to get it. I've been doing Jacob's contest, getting Jacob's tickets. We have all the unique gold medals we need. Today's a special day. Man, we're maxing out another skill. And on the Iron Man Profile, that, those are few and far between. So if you guys are excited for today's episode, don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe, Jill, if you guys are new around here. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. Super quickly, though, there is currently a fire sale going on of these Ammonite skins. I currently picked up the Magma Ammonite. These things look super clean. If you find yourself picking up some Skyblock gems to buy them, don't forget to go and use my creator code, CODEZAC, for an extra 5% off your purchase. It's a great way to support myself and the channel, and you get to pick up some cool stuff in the process. Whether you're buying booster cookies or rank, skyblock gems for the fire sales, you know, just don't forget my code. I appreciate you guys. Without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Finally, after building my mushroom farm in yesterday's video, this is my first boring spores uh, since building the farm. I already got one really early on on my necklace, and now we can go ahead and put one onto my lotus cloak. Which is amazing. Crazy that these things are still going for 8 mil. Uh, I mean, that kind of definitely says something, to say the least. But yeah, burrowing spores. I mean, this thing's just great. Um, in terms of comparison, currently I have the flowering bouquet. On legendary tier, it would give 5 farming fortune. For example, it's giving 4 here on epic. Burrowing spores would be giving 12 on a legendary piece of equipment compared to the 5 from uh, flowering bouquet. So we're going to go from 4 farming fortune all the way to 10. There we go. An extra six farming fortune just like that. Don't mind if I do. We still need two more of these things. And then we have all the ones I need. Assuming they never add any more farming equipment. But you never really know. Happy to get one of those. Gonna keep on farming. I also just did a sugar cane contest right before I hopped into the farm. Literally on like my first row being back in the mushroom farm. I did another mushroom contest. I came silver in. I had to like step away from my PC with like five minutes left. So a little bit unfortunate there. But it is what it is. We need so many Jacobs tickets now. Uh, we're on the grind for 500. So that's kind of the play here. That's what I'm working towards. But yeah, really happy with that. That's great stuff right there. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep on farming. We need two more. Let's go get them. Okay, I'm recording this clip without doing the math, which I probably should have. But I swear this was not the case before. They must have changed this. They doubled the sell price of medals for tickets. I'm 99% sure. I don't think it was 16 Jacobs tickets for a gold medal before. I really don't. I believe it was eight. I think they doubled it. I'm not buying cactus anytime soon. So this makes me think that maybe, just maybe, we can somehow get enough tickets to get Farming 60. Maybe? Who, who knows? Who, who actually knows, right? So I need 500 tickets. If we do 500 divided by 64, that comes out to 7.81 stacks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 1, whatever, whatever that is, you know? So uh, how many more do we actually need? We need about three, nearly four stacks, and it's four medals per stack. I have a ton. So right off the bat, let's get rid of that bronze. Let's get rid of all my silvers. Four Jacobs tickets per, yes please, goodbye, see you never, beautiful. Now let's start selling some of the golds. Uh, I don't really wanna go below 20, I guess. Oh my goodness, we're actually gonna be able to do this. Okay. Oh my goodness, I think, I think we have enough. I think so. Not unlocked, let's try it. Not enough required items, oh my goodness, we must be so close on tickets. Let's do that, that has gotta be enough. Okay, here we go. Farming 60, Skyblock level 275, my goodness. Max farming level, that is beautiful. Just like that, farming 60, you'd love to see it. Another max skill, completely done. A million coins for free as well. That is so satisfying. The only thing I've left from Anita's shop is the, oh my goodness, it completely disappears as a, a viable thing. That's actually kind of cool. But the extra farming drops. I think I have two more tiers left on this. So 450 tickets for that, as well as nine gold medals. That is a sizable amount. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, we're just going to need to save up tickets for this. I don't have enough I can even trade in right now. So we'll have to work on that. But farming 60 is complete. All we have left is a fishing level and 3 million combat XP. And then we are max skills on our Iron Man profile, which is honestly ridiculous so i've been taking care of my visitors and slowly but surely accumulating a little bit more copper currently sitting at 3000 so we're gonna go ahead and buy two green thumb books actually is the plan so let's go ahead and buy number one number two the reason why i needed to wait to buy two at a time is i currently have green thumb two on all my equipment pieces 
So we're going to go ahead and take out my necklace. We're going to go ahead and slap these books together. These things are worth 11.6 mil a pop. So kind of ridiculous, like nearly a 25 mil enchant we just bought with our copper on a regular profile. That'd be so nice. But unfortunately, we aren't on a regular profile. So it is what it is. Um, let me go ahead and grab out a few more grand XP balls. I think that's at 119 levels. So let's go ahead and get to that really quickly. Slash AV. Rooted Lotus Necklace. Green Thumb 2 on it. Take this. We're going to have Green Thumb 3, which grants 0.15 Farming Fortune per unique visitor served. That's amazing. And as you can see, we're also getting pretty close to upgrading that peace bonus at 1,000 uh, visitor offers accepted. Currently sitting at 741. So slowly but surely getting there. But there we go. Green Thumb 3. I would say we're close, but we, we're done. We're close. We have so many more Green Thumb books to get. It's kind of ridiculous. So far, though, I think that's our 10th Green Thumb book. Which is kind of insane. That's like 15,000 copper worth of green thumb books. The only problem is I need to spend like, I think, 100,000 copper on green thumb books until they get green thumb five on all my equipment pieces. But either way, really happy with that. Obviously, the next one will be our Lotus Cloak and we'll keep working our way down. I still want to get two more recoms for this. I think that'll be really beneficial and maybe even some recoms for our farming tools. But it's really tough to try and decide farming tools or accessory bag i still have a lot to go here and we've kind of taken a detour from it as we like recon our entire fermento armor our rancher boots fermento boots two of our equipment pieces so that's like what seven recoms that we spent on our farming stuff not to mention we do have a few of our farming tools recommed mainly actually just our sugar cane head, which i did way back but yeah so need to get back on track with that let me know in the comments down below though what do you think is actually more beneficial for my uh progress do you think i should recom my farming tools after my equipment or after i recom these two equipment pieces should i get back on track with the rest of my accessory bag kind of increasing my damage let me know in the comments down below i'm actually curious i, I don't know which one's more beneficial I'll have to get to both of them eventually though. So I just did the carrot contest. Honestly, I joined it a little bit late, but I'm uh, still happy with the score I got. 709,000 carrots. Gold was 873,000. Kind of uh, a little disgusting, but it is what it is. And something I wanted to go ahead and do. Also, I don't know why crappies don't automatically go into the sack. Same with squashes. You kind of have to put them in yourself. Uh, yeah, we have a decent amount of crappies building up though. What's that? Nearly four stacks already since crafting the talisman. But I did get another Turbo Carrot book, which is nice because I think I only have Turbo Carrot 3 on my uh, Carrot Hoe. So we can go ahead and make a Turbo Carrot 2, another Turbo Carrot 2 into a 3, and then we should be able to upgrade to Turbo Carrot 4. And once again, I need XP. Okay, let's go ahead and grab out some Grand XP Balls. Not sure how many levels it said I need there. Okay, that's plenty. And there we go, Turbo Carrot 4. So this will give us an extra 5 Farming Fortune when breaking carrots. And honestly, that is the difference between a silver and a gold right there. That will actually make the difference. Obviously, I want to get Turbo Carrot 5, but uh, I got to do another 8 contest for that one. In terms of upgrades for farming, I still have quite a few that are needed to be done. Uh, mainly in the Anita shop, there's two massive upgrades here. Extra farming drops. Uh, right now, I have an extra 26% farming drops. I'm not sure if that's just 26 Farming Fortune. I've been told it is. Honestly, I'm not sure though. This goes up to 30 though, which would be honestly a really nice buff. The only problem is, is the requirements it needs. And for example, my next tier is 9 gold medals and 450 Jacobs tickets. After looking into it though, the upgrade after is 10 gold medals, which isn't the problem. I have 19 gold medals exactly saved up actually. Uh, the only problem is the next upgrade is 1,000 Jacobs tickets. Okay, so if we do a little bit of math here, we need 1,450 Jacobs tickets to complete uh, that upgrade. So if we divide that by 64, that's nearly 23 stacks of Jacobs tickets, which is a little bit sickening, I'm not gonna lie. However, due to the change that helped us get farming 60, also, I just did a, a gold medal in pumpkin, which is super nice. That's my new high score in pumpkin. Uh, so that's pretty cool, but let's go and claim that. So from one contest, when you get a gold, you get 25 Jacobs tickets. Now with the new metal conversion prices, I can get an extra 16 tickets, from basically one gold medal, which is super nice, nearly doubling how many tickets I can get per event. So I get 41 per contest. So if we go ahead and divide how many Jacobs tickets we need by 41, we need to do 35 contests, uh, getting a gold medal every single time. And for those of you who don't know, you can only participate in one Jacobs contest every hour, which is, um, it's a lot as is, not to mention, Getting gold medals, as some of you may know, is harder than ever, mainly because everyone's farming fortune is now through the roof. And especially if you can't get like mossy reforges on Iron Man or rooted on your equipment pieces, 
There's just a lot of things that normal profiles have a benefit over, but that is the Iron Man experience. So on Iron Man right now, getting a gold medal is harder than it's ever been. I mean, some people who are like high 50s and farming level are struggling to get golds without Mayor Finnegan in office, which uh, is definitely a problem. And I wish anyone who's going for farming 60 in the future luck because... Yeah, getting gold medals is not easy. You might be stuck waiting for Mayor Finnegan. So a lot of the times I'm going to find myself getting silver medals or barely getting gold medals, uh, which I've kind of just been noticing myself doing. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit tough, but we have how many? 35 contests worth of Jacob's tickets we need to get to max out this Anita perk. I definitely want to do it. I get Skyblock XP as well as more Farming Fortune. So it's got to be done, but my goodness, is it ever going to be a grind? That's a lot of contests ahead of me. With Mayor Paul right around the corner though, we are gonna be taking a little bit of a break from farming. I'll probably be farming whenever I'm not doing dungeons, but I wanna do like, I really wanna like take my first steps into master mode during this Mayor. For example, I don't have a master skull. I, I literally have so few master mode runs. Let's go ahead and take a look at my profile here. In terms of master mode runs, I've done one master mode one, one master mode two, one master mode three, and one master mode four run. That's literally all I've done. And I did them for the completions because I wanted the skyblock XP. And then I decided that's probably not the best idea. So I held off from getting a carry in M5, M6, M7 for the XP. I have a lot of skyblock XP that's just sitting there that I can get as soon as we start going through master mode. So I'm actually really excited to get into it for that. Uh, for example, though, complete dungeons, master mode, we have a level and a half, 150 skyblock XP available to be claimed just by doing one run of M5, M6, and M7. So I'm really excited to get that XP. That's going to be super nice. And a lot of the YouTubers who I'm in competition for who have all these completions, I mean, that's just a free level and a half right there. So I'm excited to get that. I'm also ridiculously close to Catacombs level 40, or somewhat close. I'm Either way, I'm Catacombs 39, 45% of the way there. So we are getting there. And I mean, there's just so much more class XP as well to get in dungeons in master mode. So really excited to step into that. It should be interesting. One of the things I want to try and do though, or I don't know if I'll be able to do it before Mayor Paul, but obviously I want to complete the perfect Jaspers on my Necron armor set. So to do that, I need Jasper crystals. And to get Jasper crystals, I need to do nucleus runs. And I really want to do 50 nucleus runs because I can actually get myself two free skyblock levels just by doing 50 nucleus runs. It's weird that doesn't count previous ones. I've definitely done more than 50 on this profile, but I'm excited to do these and get two free levels. We're like with that and master mode completions, we're going to be super close to level 280 in that divine level prefix. So that's going to be really exciting. And so, yeah, I was basically just killing some Robotrons earlier today and uh, literally only got five Robotron reflectors. The rest of the parts I have plenty of, and I will have 50 of all of them by the time I get 50 Robotron reflectors. But I don't know if I'm going to do like five of those a day. I, I do find it a little bit unbearable to sit there and get robot parts, especially after recently getting the Amber Polish drill engine. So I'm struggling to do that a little. But yeah, we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up on the profile and a lot of free XP that we're going to be able to get soon. And it's going to catapult our level up. Unfortunately, though, that's all the time I have for today's episode. Hopefully you guys didn't end up enjoying it. A lot of the time during like garden progress days, I just find myself farming and like just getting crops towards helping with visitors or I end up doing contests and there's only so much content I can make out of that so hopefully you guys understand but if you did enjoy this one don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here don't forget to use code Zach when checking on the Hypixel store save yourself five percent and seriously we're about to start the final push for level 280 that beautiful divine prefix I cannot wait for a color change above my head and then we start grinding for level 320 I mean that's when we get like the red color and that beside YouTube rank looks oh so clean but yeah we're basically road to max on the iron man thank you so much for watching though i can't wait to see you guys in the next one take care and peace out